Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, transformations of functions, which is also really important. So now that we've uh, talked about, we have our library of functions, the functions that we should know, uh, we can do transformations on them. And we're going to do uh, we're going to do it by example. I'm, I'm just going to do a, a uh, comprehensive example that has all the different transformations. Um, let's say you want to graph, um, for example, um, let's say um, 3 times the square root of um, x minus 2 plus 1. Okay, so now, uh, you have to remember what each one of these things does to your function. Um, when you're adding or subtracting, First off, remember that if you're adding or subtracting to the entire function, like this plus 1 is, this is going to be a vertical shift. And vertical shifts are exactly what it looks like. So here it's going to add 1, so that means I'm going to go in the positive direction 1, vertically. Okay, now, um, here, this minus 2, I'm subtracting from x. So any number that's adding or subtracting to x, this is a horizontal shift. But this one's also, all, I mean, sorry, always backwards from what it looks like. So it's negative 2, so that means I'm going to go into the positive direction, which is uh, the right by 2. Okay. Now, So let me, um, I'm going to draw here, I'm going to do it with a dotted line, just your basic square root of x function so that we can compare it, um, our, the function that we end up with, um, with this one. Okay, so we have horizontal shift right to 2 and then vertical shift up by 1. And now since I'm multiplying um, my entire function by a number, um, this is a vertical either stretch or compression. So um, remember that vertical uh, transformations are exactly what it seems. So here um, I'm multiplying by positive 3. That means I'm going to stretch by a factor of 3. So that means if you imagine this guy, it looks like this. We're going to stretch it out by 3. So it's going to make it taller. Okay, so let's apply all these uh, different things. So we're going to shift it up by 1. So my starting point is normally 0, so I'm going to move it up by 1. And then I'm going to go right by 2. So now instead of starting at 0, I'm going to start at 2 comma 1. Because I shifted up by 1 and right by 2. And then I'm 3 times as steep, so I'm stretched out. So that means I'm gonna, it looks more like something like that as opposed to the flatter original one. And that's it. And this applies to any function, any, any, any function. And this is really, really, really important to know uh, how to do. Because um, it, it's going to come in handy more times than you can imagine.